Unemployment poses many problems. Among them is the psychological distress, not always obvious, of those who cannot find work or lose it. How is the Hungarian government dealing with this issue and what are the proposals of the Hungarian Workers' Party? Hello, I am Gyula Czerma, president of the Hungarian Workers' Party. The problem of unemployment and employment is a constant problem of capitalist economy, but it appears in different ways in different countries. In Hungary now, the unemployment is not a great problem. The rate of unemployment is uh, less than 4%. It is the result of the, of the economic policy of the actual Hungarian government. After the COVID, the Hungarian government came to the conclusion that we should invest more in industry and in other branches of the economy. The Hungarian economic policy is based on inviting foreign capital to Hungary. That's why the, the majority of the industrial production is realized by foreign companies, including American, South Korean, Chinese, and other, other companies. But now this is the situation that we didn't really face a problem of unemployment. But what will happen in the future? What will happen if the war will continue in Ukraine? What will happen if uh, the people will lose their jobs because of uh, reduction of economic uh, activity in Hungary? We are afraid that the foreign capital can go away from Hungary. And then uh, the less developed Hungarian uh, enterprises cannot give as much jobs to the people as it is needed. That's why the Hungarian uh, Workers' Party suggests to have an other economic policy. The Hungarian government should support uh, the Hungarian companies, the Hungarian enterprises, the Hungarian ag agriculture, and all those branches which are important for the Hungarian economy. Nowadays, many European companies have established their own factories in Hungary, such as Audi, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and so on. They make Hungarian workers work for them, rather than for Hungary's own enterprises. How do you think the current Hungarian government should strengthen the capabilities of domestic enterprises to make them more competitive and appealing for the Hungarian workers? The actual policy of the Hungarian government is based uh, on the understanding that without foreign capital, the Hungarian economy cannot develop. That's why the Hungarian government invited a lot of foreign producing capital to Hungary, including, first, first of all, German and American uh, companies. Yes, it's a fact that the German auto-producing companies, Audi, Mercedes, BMW and other, are represented in Hungary. Um, it makes Hungary a great power in automobile producing. But at the same time, they are not Hungarian factories. They belong to the German capital or to the American capital. We are afraid that in a case of economic crisis, when people will buy less automobiles than today, these companies can leave Hungary. And what will happen in this case? We think that the Hungarian economy should be based on the Hungarian economic branches, Hungarian industry, Hungarian national production, Hungarian uh, agriculture and, and Hungarian uh, trade. Uh, it would be a better possibility than what we have today and it will give secure jobs to the Hungarian people in all, all fields. We think that uh, uh, the Hungarian government should combine the support of uh, foreign capital with the support of Hungarian enterprises and to put uh, under first place, first, first of all, the Hungarian companies. What are the Hungarian Workers' Party main proposals for finding solutions immediately to the labor shortage and for reorganizing the labor market in the future? The future of the Hungarian economy and the situation on the labor market depends on the future economic policy of the Hungarian government. 
We think that we should strengthen the Hungarian agriculture, the Hungarian national industry, Hungarian national trade. Uh, in order to achieve this aim, uh, Hungary should get back the internal trade. It means that to get back the, from the supermarkets, from the multinational companies, the internal trade. The Hungarian agriculture cannot develop without a strong internal, Hungarian-owned uh, internal trade background. It means that uh, uh, the Hungarian agriculture can produce a lot of products, but they should be sold by Hungarian old uh, supermarkets. The second element we think that the Hungarian government should support the Hungarian agriculture. Now the fact is that we import a lot of things from um, foreign countries. Uh, Hungary, there are no sugar factories. In Hungary, there are not oil factories. It means that we should uh, create our own produce producing basis to cover the needs of the Hungarian people. The third element of our policy that we should develop our contacts with the Eastern countries, with Russia, with China, with other countries, and to support uh, the Hungarian companies to appear on these markets. Uh, Hungary is a member of the European Union, but it's absolutely clear that Hungary cannot solve all its problems uh, with the help of the European Union. We need other markets, we need uh, bridges to other markets, first of all to Russia and uh, China and to other developing countries. Do you believe that the European Union should develop a more serious foreign cooperation policy regarding the BRICS countries, especially if we consider the significant upcoming enlargement of the BRICS? No, we are facing a very critical policy of the European Union and the Hungarian Workers' Party criticized this political line. What is the European Union doing? The European Union uh, wants to war, to have a war with Russia, with China and with other countries instead of peaceful and win-win cooperation with Russia and, uh, and, uh, and uh, China. I think that the European Union should change this policy. The European Union cannot win an economic or political war against China and Russia. The first element that we should come to ceasefire in Ukraine, in the Ukrainian war, then the European Union together with the United States should start peace talks with Russia. And this peace should be a realistic one. We should recognize the existing realities of the war which is going on, on in, uh, in uh, uh, Ukraine. And we should recognize the national interest of all the participants of this war. The second thing, Hungary and the European Union should have a peaceful political line towards China. China is a strategic partner and China is important not only from the point of view of economic cooperation. Uh, China means uh, uh, intellectual uh, challenge and we should face this challenge and we should follow all these models which are going on uh, in, in China. We could see under COVID that China could solve this problem in a better way than the majority of the European Union and the NATO uh, countries. That's why uh, the Hungarian Workers' Party does its best to contribute to the development of the relationship with China. Uh, we urge immediate peace with uh, Russia and uh, we hope that the European Union can change its policy. But unfortunately, we see that uh, it can be an illusion. The actual leadership of the, of the European Union doesn't want peace, doesn't want cooperation. They have practically sold the interest of the European nations to the United States of America. We are against it. We want to back uh, Europe, we want to get back the European people and we want to create a future for the European people.